What is going on everyone, Slims here. Coming to you guys with some more Overwatch gameplay. This one's going to be about the new hero and just showcasing her a little bit. It's my first time playing with her. She just was revealed on the um, on YouTube and the PTR just came live. And of course I had to try it out for myself since I have it available. Now, as you guys can see at the top, the ping right now in PTR is really bad. That is to be expected. This thing just came out about 50 minutes ago. Maybe even 10. So that is to be expected. And this is actually not Orisa's... Uh, Default skin. This is a legendary skin. It's called Carbon Fiber. It's mostly green. You guys can see it right there. It's pretty cool. I can't wait to see it with gold. But um, let's talk about her damage, right? So her damage so far doesn't look to be too bad. It takes nine shots to kill somebody if they're all headshots. And this is projectile based, right? So farther away, it's not going to be as effective. But the rate of fire is really good. And the projectile speed actually isn't that bad, as you guys can see. Not bad at all. I, the PTR might make it seem like it takes a long time to get to it, but it's because of the ping. Right? It takes so long to kill him. As you guys can see, the projectile is not bad at all. Her, um, her ship. Let's see what. Okay, I can shoot with this apparently, and I turned gold. So I'm gonna wait for that to go on cooldown. We're gonna talk, look at her E real quick as I do so. Her E is a shield, similar to Reinhardt's. It's half a dome, like Winston's, I guess. 900 HP. Pretty cool. It's not. I mean, it looks a lot wider when you get closer to it. I just want to know if it's like a wider than Reinhardt shield, which it doesn't seem to be. And okay, it just went away, even though I had my cooldown there for a minute. So it doesn't go away as soon as your cooldown uh, has reset. Now let's take a look at this thing again. So this seems to reduce damage, incoming damage by 50%, because these usually do four for a shot yeah and it was doing two to me so that looks like it reduces incoming damage by 50 percent for four seconds and this has 900 hp so if you do this effectively you have 1700 hp for four seconds which is really cool okay so that's cool let's look at her third bit, i guess it is all right um mouse button and i don't know what that just did so i'm gonna do that again over here because i think i fucked up so this is projectile and it pulls targets in its radius close together. Uh -oh. Hold on, were they stunned there? Like, could they not move the whole time or? Let me try that again. Okay, this one moves. So th I guess they were just in shock, I guess. But they definitely can move as soon as the eff um, effect is done, as soon as they're pulled together. So it's not like a graviton surge in an ability. It's about half that. I said a quarter of that, actually. So what the developers said about that ability is that you can Pull enemies around corners with it. So if someone is running from you, let's I put that there. You can pull them around a the corner and kill them really quickly. So that's really cool. That's a really cool ability. Your kit seems really balanced, actually, from what I've seen. Now, when Summer first came out, many people speculated that she'd be OP. Her hack is really strong. The only thing that's bad about Sombra is the DPS. And her, if Sombra's DPS was a lot higher, not a lot higher, but just higher in general, and her spread wasn't as uh, wide, she actually would be, in my opinion, OP. So, um, with Ori or Orisa, her kit seems balanced. She has a machine gun, 200, um, 200 magazine size, but it's projectile based. And it's gonna be, meaning that it's gonna be hard to hit and easy to run away from, as you guys can see. And her HP is 400, but it instead has armor instead of shields like Zarya. And with this move, oh, actually, now I see that she has armor. And this move, she actually might have more than 1700 HP when you combine with the shield, since armor reduces uh, damage. So that's definitely something that's interesting about her. Okay, so with the armor, the shield, and this, her machine gun. Oh, let's check out our ultimate here. Let's see, I don't know. I want to try this right here. Cease your resistance. And it, what the fuck is this? Let's see. Okay, I'm judging by these symbols on this screen that I'm doing more damage. I need to try that. Again. I want to see how much damage it reduces or increases. How much my damage increases? I'm guessing because of the effect, it might be the same as Mercy Boost, to where it's just thirty percent, which is still a lot. But I want to try that again. Let me just build my ultimate up really quickly. And look how cool this gun is, honestly. I just keep shooting this too. So this is this might actually be uh, good at taking down Reinhardt's shield. I hope I can find her damage. Um, how much damage this gun does later on in the day? If uh, if it takes nine headshots, it still has like really good damage. It still takes nine headshots. 
I have my ult now. I'm gonna go back to this section where I can test how much damage it does directly, right? So I'm gonna put this down. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's not it's not a 50% damage boost increase. If it takes six shots, it has to be 30%. Um, so that's definitely useful. Let's see how long this thing lasts. Okay, it's still up there. And the, you see the range on that thing? That's 15 meters right there. So it might be around 18 or 20 meters, actually, the range of our ultimate. I'm going to try that one more time. Let's try to build my ultimate up again. So the damage boost increases around 30%. Actually, I, I, I would say it's actually uh, exactly 30%. And it lasts seemingly six to eight seconds. So I think we got it back here. I go back around this section. I'm gonna test. I'm gonna test the range on this thing really quickly. I want to put it down right at the edge here. And we keep moving back. That's ten meters. This is twenty. Okay, so it's holy shit! What the fuck? How long is that shit? Okay, so it. That might have been the ping, right? That might have been the ping that made it. Um, Get off of me so late, but it might be the design of that ultimate ability. Seems like 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 the last eight seconds. But what's interesting is that it didn't get off of me directly, and the range is at least 20 meters, with increase to my damage output by 30%. Now I don't think it increases teammate damage output, but it at least increases mine. I'm gonna test. I'm gonna have to test that later. I don't want to make this video too long. Hopefully you guys got the gist of Orissa so far. Shield, her damage, reduction. She moves slower when she's shooting. I wanna know if she yeah, she moves slow when she's shooting. She doesn't move slow with that specific ship ability though. And this pulls people closer. LOS space, which that should be already expected. Let's count this shit real quick. That has to be two seconds right there. If you have four, that's it at six. Oh, this actually looks longer than eight. Yeah, this is definitely longer than eight seconds. I'd say ten, maybe even twelve. Holy shit, it's still up. All right, so that's my. That might be twelve seconds actually. So that's pretty crazy. And um, twenty meter range. I think it's LOS based though. So you're gonna have to be careful with that. And that's really cool though. Again, we're gonna have to test out her armor um, values. Well, not really our armor values, but I guess her survivability with um, the uh, her ship and armor combined. And that's going to be really fun to uh, check that out. So, hope you guys got the gist of Orissa so far. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to make more videos about this uh, later. If your sub box isn't too full with Overwatch content already. I don't want to, you know, just keep posting content that's already been covered. So, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed.